A long time ago lived a good huntsman. He was a merry good fellow. One day during his walk, he came across an old woman who asked him, Good day, good day. You seem merry enough, but I am hungry and thirsty. Do give me something to eat. He pitied the old woman and gave her everything he had. The woman was happy. He decided to leave when the woman stopped him. Listen, my young friend, you are very kind, so I will tell you a secret. On your way ahead, you will see a large oak tree on which there will be three birds with a cloak that grants wishes. Fire your arrow in the middle of the birds and take the cloak. Also, collect a feather of the bird. As long as you have it, you shall get gold every morning under your pillow. Thank you, old lady. For if this really happens, it will be great for me. And I shall always be grateful. And thus the huntsman went home, hung the cloak on his wall, and slept on his bed with the feather in his shirt. It was a beautiful day, and the huntsman woke up and checked under his pillow. And there it was, a beautiful piece of gold. The happy huntsman continued to keep the feather with him and found gold every day under his pillow. He collected enough gold to fill up a jar. When full, he was happy, and he said to himself, looking out into the world, I'm now a rich man. What will I do here with all this wealth? I must go out into the world and travel far. And thus the wealthy huntsman left on his adventure. He traveled far through forests, rivers, and mountains, and towns with his cloak and feather, earning more gold every morning, staying in different places. Until one day he reaches a fine castle and spots a beautiful young lady with an old woman in the castle. <laughs> Do you see that young man? He has with him two things of precious magic, and we must take it from him let me welcome him. I have never seen such a beautiful woman. <clears throat> what brings you here, sir? How may I help you? Hello. I was traveling through. I am tired and I wanted to stay in your castle for a few days. And I have enough money to pay you. <laughs> Very well. Please, come in. Days passed as the huntsman, lost in the love of the lady, spent his time in the castle. The witch stole his feather while he sleeps, and yet the huntsman does not react, as he is in love with the beautiful woman. His wealth starts to go as he spends it by paying the witch to stay. The witch desired for the cloak as well. The old witch talks to the young lady near a fireplace in the castle. We must get the cloak at once. The man has already lost his wealth. Please let him be. You will do as I say, and I shall have that cloak at once. Hello, dear. You seem worried. What makes you sad? There is a great granite rock upon which lay great diamonds and rocks. No man can reach there. I want to be there, but I can't, and it makes me sad. If that is your desire, then I shall fulfill it right away. I 
did it! This is amazing! Thank you so much, my love! I'm glad you are happy. Would you mind if I rested in your lap for a while? I'm very tired. The huntsman wakes up and realizes he is stranded and in anger curses the woman. What rogues people are! What will become of me? At that very moment, he sees three giants heading his way. Realizing he can't run, he acts dead. The giants discuss among themselves what to do of him. Let's kill him! and eat him. The clouds will carry him away from here. Let's not get in any trouble and attract more men here. If I can ride one of these clouds, I can escape from here and maybe find the castle again. And thus came the cloud, which floated him a fair distance and dropped him into a thick forest from where he walked towards the castle, using the sun in the day and the stars in the night for direction. He finds a vegetable field on the way. Hungry, he decides to cut the head of a salad and eat it. He feels uneasy and becomes a goat. He realized <laughs> the salad of the field must have magic. He panics and eats a different kind of vegetable. This shall help me get back my wealth and to teach a lesson to those cheats. You filthy man! What do you want? Ma'am, I'm just passing by. I was to get the best Charlotte in the kingdom for the king. I have found it and carrying. Need to rest for a night. Really? Will you let me taste the finest Charlotte in the kingdom? Of course, ma'am. is quite delicious. Mmm, indeed it is. Thus, the huntsman gets back his wealth. However, he is <laughs> not done with the goats. He gave the goats to a miller and instructed him to feed the old one stripes three times and hay once a day and to the young one hay three times a day and stripes once. A few days later, the miller returned with the young one. Sire, the old goat died, and this one looks so sorrowful that it won't last too long. <laughs> My dear huntsman, I'm sorry for everything. The witch made me do it. I could not stop her. I forgive you, for I believe in you, and I love you. And thus they lived happily ever after.